I trust your journey was successful. I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this matter. It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be able to allay the after-effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. No, it will have to run its course. And there's always the chance I may never recover. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's bow? I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your worries. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like reading a simple book. There is quite a bit of ritual and concentration required. It can take months or even years to complete a single scroll, and even then, months to recover. Sadly, yes. It is the inevitable fate we agree to pursue when reading the Elder Scrolls. It generally does not occur until a moth priest is in his latter years, but in my case, I simply was not preparing myself properly. Good luck. I hope you find the answer. Ends up being a wasted trip. We can trees.
really taking a liking to you. Thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. I never trusted those damn scrolls. Who knows what those things could have done to you? Just look at Dexian. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Then it's almost over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall cave? Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down.
Come forward. You have nothing to fear here. I am Knight Paladin Gelibor. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. Oriel, Oriel, Halkosh, Akatosh, so many different names for the Sovereign of the Snow Elves. I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. Those twisted creatures you call Falmer, I call the Betrayed. Of course, you're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? I can help you get it, but first, I must have your assistance. I need you to kill Archcurate Vertha, my brother. The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. It was the betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Oriel would allow this to happen. They swept into the Chantry without warning, and began killing everyone without pause. The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of paladins, but we were no match for the betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone, and stormed the inner sanctum where I believe they corrupted Vertha. He's alive. I've seen him, but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Leaving the Way Shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel, and an assault on the Betrayed guarding the Inner Sanctum would only end with my death. Yes, let me show you. This structure is known as a way shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin at the way shrine's center and proceed to the next way shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the Initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the Ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the Ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the Arch Curate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and claim Ariel's bow. I know how it all sounds. But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the Initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. Caves? Oh no! The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. But before I send you on your way, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer. Once you've located a Way Shrine, there'll be a Spectral Prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the Shrine's Basin, as if you've been enlightened. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. Questions? They're ghosts of the Snow Elf Priests that tended the Way Shrines before being slaughtered by the Betrayed. Through the grace of Oriel, they were restored to their spectral form to enable them to continue their duties. I'm afraid in their current form, 
They still believe the Chantry to be an active center of worship. They won't respond to you in any way other than believing that you're an initiate and you're undertaking the journey to the Inner Sanctum. We were once a wealthy and prosperous society that occupied a portion of Skyrim. Unfortunately, we were constantly at war with the Nords, who claimed the land as their ancestral home. In a manner of speaking, we had always maintained an uneasy alliance with the underground dwelling dwarves, and when faced with extinction, we turned to them for help. Surprisingly, they agreed to protect us, but demanded a terrible price. The blinding of our race. There were splinter groups that resisted the agreement, and even some that sought alternate alliances. But when it was all said and done, those elves were either slaughtered, vanished, or gave up and took the dwarves' bargain. I've often asked myself that very same question. The blinding of my race was supposedly accomplished with a toxin. Certainly not enough to devolve them into the sad and twisted beings they've become. May Oriel watch over you.